Hi everybody, this is Michael Britt, and this is episode 216 of The Psych Files, in which you are going to learn some crazy cool ways to search YouTube to find the best videos. Because as you know, YouTube has millions and millions of videos, but where are the good ones and how do you find them? Now I've, uh, as an aside, been involved in doing this for years as creator of the Psych Explorer app. And what I try to do in the app is put just the good stuff. Uh, it has to do with psychology, although this episode could be used by anyone searching on any particular topic. Uh, so lots of great videos in there. How do, so how do I find them? Well, I do some, uh, some pretty interesting stuff, I think. Hopefully, hopefully you'll find this episode interesting. Because what you'll be able to do is not only find the, these really, really good, high-quality videos, but then you can do a number of things. You could, uh, you know, of course you can watch them on your desktop, but you could watch them on your uh, iPad, uh, your Nexus, or uh, even beyond that, of course, is that you could have, depending upon how interested you are in this topic and how serious you are, you could get a, uh, a phone call when a great video is posted or liked on Facebook. So you might say, well, I don't know if I want to get a phone call, but you could. So let me show you some ways to go from just finding them to uh, doing some things with them that I think you might not expect. Okay, so where do we start? Well, you could start on the YouTube uh, homepage. And as you know, just same as Google, if you put in a term, broad term like that, you're going to wind up, in this case, with 1,210,000 results. Now, of course, a better thing to do would be to be more specific. So if whatever your topic is, you maybe you want to narrow it down with something more specific, and that narrowed it down to 31,800 results. Okay, so what do you do next? Now, here's what you could do. So suppose you, you look at this one. It uh, looks like a classic video here. I mean, you know, you're, it's a bit of a shot in the dark, but you could start this way. Now, suppose you watch this. And you say, oh, yeah, this is, this is actually good. Now, you might do a number of things, which is to, uh, you could like it. You could add, uh, add it to a playlist. And that's what I suggest you start doing is creating playlists. And I've got a whole bunch of them that I've had for years. And so they, uh, I have topics, and then I add videos to the playlists. And a lot of people do this, probably not enough, but that's one way, and I'll show you more examples in a second, of how you're going to find the better quality videos. So in this case, well, a couple of things you could do. You uh, This person here, Jason Bentley Jones, either uploaded it or somehow put it here on YouTube. So let's just check what else he's done. He's um, So you go in, you take a look at some of his recent uploads. Interesting. But check again the playlists. Has he created any playlists? And aside from his liked videos and favorites, which could include anything, you're not sure what's in here. So let's find something else. Suppose you find one of those well-known uh, TED Talks videos, okay? And this one just hap happens to do with uh, uh, psychology, maybe Barry Schwartz. So you might say, oh, okay, I like this. Now you could, again, you could like it and share it, etc. But again, you might want to add this to a playlist that you create. And if you haven't created them yet, just come down here and create a new playlist. This is by, uh, of course, the famous TED folks. So what you might want to do is click on the name of the person or organization, and now you see uh, various things that they have posted over these many years. So again, you want to get really specific about what you're looking for, so you click on playlists. Now you want to find out uh, what categories have they put their videos into? Some of these look pretty interesting, right? This has to do with data. This has to do with MOOCs. Uh, five videos that have to do with bikes. Uh, let's see, talks about memory. So suppose you are interested in this, uh, in specifically in memory. Okay, so let's just click on that playlist. All right, so that gives you the eight videos they put up so far. So suppose you want to know when the TED folks ever put a video into a topic called memory because that's your thing. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to look up here in the URL and this is what you want. Playlist, question mark, list equals. This is the playlist identifier and it'll always look like that, some crazy long numbers and letters and that's what you're going to want to use in just a second. Let me show you a couple other examples though. Uh, suppose you're over here, uh, so you found this video and this one is uh, you know, uploaded by 
uh, Chuck Shalhorn, all right? And uh, he's, he's a psychology teacher. So again, first thing you want to do really is subscribe so that when he uploads something, you are going to get some, uh, an email about it. Now, we all know about email. It gets lost in there. So, uh, But go in and click on his name and see if he's created any playlists. All right, so here is, here's his page, recent activity, recent uploads. All right, but I want to go in and see if he's created any playlists, and he has. All right, sensation and perception, biology, learning. All right, so he's got, uh, suppose you're studying for a test, in this case, the AP uh, psychology test. So you go in here, he's got 13 videos in there. Okay, so you want to know when Chuck Schilhorn puts a video into this playlist. Okay, he's an expert. He's a psychology teacher. He knows what he's talking about, and you want to know because he thinks it's quality. Okay, so once again, you go up here into the URL field, and you're going to copy out that, that number, just the number for now. All right? Uh, other examples. Okay, here's another, obviously, major uh, institution, the uh, APA. So you might find this video interesting. Again, click on the name. Go into their playlists and see how they've organized videos. Click on any particular one, and you can watch the video. But before you do that, let's see. Well, let's click on This is Psychology. All right. Go up to the top. Copy this crazy number right here after the equal sign right there. All right. Now let's go to the next step. Okay. So the next step involves this little bit of code here. Okay. So that's what you're going to need. That is, uh, you can find that on my website for this episode, the Psych Files. Uh, you can also find it in the About section if you are indeed watching this on YouTube. All right, so what are you going to do? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to, after you have copied the playlist ID number here, so let's say I'm here on Chuck Shalhorn's site and I copied that crazy number, just paste it right after that last slash there, all right? And uh, you can do this as many times as you want. Just get the playlist up to the slash. I'm going to paste that here. So if I go over, for example, to uh, the TED site, I'm going to come up here and grab this crazy long number. This, this uh, playlist, oops, don't get the equal sign. Just get, there we go, right after the equal sign. Uh, so I want to know uh, uh, all their videos on memory. So I'm going to just paste that over there. Okay. All right. So good. You got this. Now, what do you do with this? All right, so now first I'm going to copy this entire thing now for this first one. Now what you want is a reader of some kind, a feed reader. You've created an RSS feed. Now you want to be able to read it. And so, um, I don't know, one of the better ones is called Feedly. And it is both a desktop uh, website and it is a mobile version as well. So you, what you can do is you could check, once you've got it set up, you can... Uh, check to see if Ted has any new videos on memory anywhere you're at. So you go to your home page on Feedly. That's where I am now. Okay, and so I'm going to add content right over there. And then I'm going to come over here and paste that craziness right into here. And it recognizes it. So I'll click on that. Okay, these look good. This is what I want to uh, be able to peruse at some later point. So once I've got it here, it looks good to me. I'm going to click on the follow button. Okay, and it's going to say, okay, great. Uh, do you want to put this anywhere? And, uh, you know, for now, as you can see, i got a lot of categories. For now, I'm just going to put it in miscellaneous, although you might want to put it uh, in, uh, you know, some other category, of course. So I'll click on that and say follow. And it's in there, and it's in there permanently. So now if I go down to miscellaneous, okay, I'm going to expand that category. As you can see I've got a lot of them. And I come down here, and here it is, AP Psychology Reminders, okay? So now I can see, and, and whenever Charles Shellhorn adds a new video to this playlist, I will know about it, okay? Same thing with the other ones, with the uh, whatever other one, be it uh, TED Talks or APA or whoever it is that you trust is doing a good job of collecting the really good videos on YouTube, you can have them ready for you on your feed reader, which can be, of course, as I mentioned, uh, on your tablet or iPhone. Okay, one last power search technique. What if you are so, you know, you've got a paper coming up, or if you're a teacher, you've got a lecture coming up, and you want to know at the moment, you want to get, as I mentioned, a phone call. 
whenever something like this happens because you, you need this information. I mean, it's a little crazy, but it can be done. So for that, you need a new tool. It's actually not that new, but it's very, very cool. And you, you have to discover a, uh, a tool called IFTTT. Okay, a little crazy, but actually somewhat memorable. And it stands for If This Then That. All right, so you come here, it looks like this. I've got uh, 49 uh, recipes, 30 of them are turned on. So let's create a new recipe, and I'll show you how you can get that phone call. All right, you can do other really cool things, which is you could get an email. So suppose you don't want to peruse your, uh, you know, your tablet or your iPhone. You're too busy, but you are a big emailer, so you want to get an email whenever Ted or APA or Chuck Schauhorn uh, adds a video to a list. You want to know about it. Okay, we can do that. So let's go in. Let's create a recipe on IFTTT. If this happens, all right, so in this case, and you can see there's all kinds of options here. I'm most interested in the feed option. So I'm going to go in this because that's what I've got. I've got a feed. So new feed item. This trigger fires every time a new item is added to, to the feed you specify. Okay, so that's really cool. Even cooler, maybe would be if an item is added to a playlist. And not only does it have, let's say, um, you know, memory or whatever your interest is, but let's say it has an even more specific interest. You would really want to narrow down your interest whenever you are writing a paper, especially. So you want to say, okay, it's about memory, yes, but memory itself is kind of a big topic. I want to know if it has anything to do with mnemonic devices. Okay, you could get that specific by choosing this one here. But let's go with the easy route well, for now. I'm going to choose this new feed item. Okay, i got to put in the feed URL. That's that crazy long thing I created. All right, the, the playlist plus this stuff right here. I'm going to create a trigger. Okay, so when a new item, when Chuck Shellhorn puts a new item in his playlist, what do you want to happen? All right, well, that's the that part. So you come down here, and here's all of your options. Uh, an easy one and a good one is an email. Okay, so I'm going to go like this, choose email, send me an email. That's the only option right now. Okay, and the email is going to have the title. I'm not going to really change any of these. This just tells me what's going to be in the email, and it'll be the title of the video, uh, the, you know, the URLs and stuff like that. So I'll just create that action. And this summarizes it for me. And there you go. And I can, the description I can change, just because this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This crazy long number here. So I'll put in Charles's name. Say, new feed item from Charles Shalhorn, and send me an email. Okay, and I'll create that recipe. Okay, it's created. Now, let's well, let's take the other one. I've got copied here, this one here. I think this was from the APA. Now, I want to get a phone call because I, you know, I've got... <laughs> I know. It's actually a little bit weird, but let's just see how it's done. Uh, again, very similar. This is a feed. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to choose this. Okay. Uh, anybody adds a new item to this playlist that's right here. Now, what's going to happen? Uh, what's the that in this case? Okay, but I'm going to go to my phone. Here, I'm going to get my phone call right here. <laughs> okay. Call me on the phone whenever this happens. Now, my phone number is already saved here and I'm going to create that action and now I am going to get an e a phone call. <laughs> I'm going to know before anyone else as soon as this happens. Now that is a little bit weird and when you get these phone calls they're going to come from California. I'm not sure where you are. You probably won't know what it is because you'll have forgotten that you did this and a computer voice reads it out. So uh, but I, you know what? Give it a try. I think it's kind of fun. All right thanks a lot. Hopefully you found that interesting and useful. And if you're interested in psychology, do check out the Psych Explorer app. You'll find it in iTunes. And I'm working on an Android version, but not yet, quite yet. So uh, check it out. And take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Psych Files, www.thepsychfiles.com. All right, take care.